Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be, do you like me? Got an email here from a viewer. He says, hey coach, I hope all is well. So I've recently began following your very insightful dating advice. However, I've run into an issue. For the past three weeks, I've been dating this girl. I'm 21 and she's 23. The way our relationship would work is that I would set up a definite date, just like you said, and she would always make herself available. No problem in that area. One thing I did find odd is that she would never call in between our dates. Well, there's only two possible reasons for that. Either A, you turned her off, or B, she's not really that into you. He says, most girls do that. When they really like you, they, call, they like to call and text you a bunch. That much I do know. However, I ignored this. Considering that we, whenever we'd meet up, it would end up with us making out. For a second, it seemed like things could potentially get serious when in the middle of one of our makeout sessions, she stopped me. She got really ser a really serious look in her face, and she put her bra back on, and we had a serious talk. Love is playful and fun. It's not serious. But if she wants to talk, you just let her talk. What do you mean, baby? Tell me more. Don't leave anything out. It was here that she revealed to me that she was a virgin. She then asked me how many people I've been with, and I told her five. He says, it's really eight. She seemed cool with this, and then she asked me if I liked her, and I responded yes. I asked her the same question, and she responded yes. I was like, that's totally weak, dude. You're acting like a woman now. So you went from about to hook up and have sex and take her virginity to now it's like two women in bed together. What's going to happen? Nothing. So he says, after that, things changed. The next time I called her to set up a date, she gave me some weak excuse. She said, I'm going to be busy all weekend Christmas shopping. And this was on the 12th of December, by the way. Then she says, plus I'm going to hang out with an old friend. In other words, I'm going to go hang out with an old boyfriend. That's what she's really saying to you. Which is fine, but she didn't even attempt to set up a follow date. That was it. The next day I saw her on campus, and I swear to you, she pretended like she didn't even see me. I know she saw me. Coach, what do you make of this situation? I look forward to your response. Well, what I would do is I'd wait two weeks, call her, try to set up one more definite date, and then if she still gives you the same BS response, then flush the number, or delete the number, I should say, and never call her again. If you see her on campus, just wave to her, say hello, and just keep on going about your business. If she likes you, she's got your number, she'll reach out to you, but what... This tells me is that you, instead of taking her virginity and have a, having a great lovemaking session, instead you created an awkward moment by getting all serious and acting like a drama queen and acting like a woman. And, of course, you got rejected. And I don't know what else you said, but obviously whatever you discussed, you ruined your chances with this girl and you turned her off. That's why she really didn't want to see you anymore. So that's what I would do if I were you. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, when you screw up this bad... It's, it's, you know, because you really haven't been dating her that, that long. So let it go. Get, wait two weeks, invite her out for another date, and if she gives you the same wishy-washy BS response, just say, hey, well, when you figure out your schedule, you got some time, give me a call. I'd love to meet up for a drink. And that's it. Then walk away and never look back. And if she ever does reach out to you, plan a definite date and then get off the phone. So if you have a question you want to ask me, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab, which will be on the left-hand side of your screen, and send me one to two paragraphs max, and just give me several days to get back to you with the response. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. You can do that by going to my website, click the Products tab, which will be at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook, on my website underneath the email sign-up box is a box that has a link that will take you right to the Amazon Kindle download page for my book. Once you get there, if you don't have a Kindle device, just download what, one of their free e-reader apps for whatever electronic device you want to read my ebook on. And if you appreciate the value of the information I offer in these video newsletters, the articles on my website, or my ebook, you can show your appreciation right now by going to my website and on the Wibby toolbar at the bottom of your screen, click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. I will talk to you soon.